Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on where and when you are watching this newscast. Welcome to This is the Week That Was by Virtualization Practice. My name is Tom Howarth. First, the headlines. Last week, HP had their Docker conf the, sorry, their Discover conference in Las Vegas, but Docker is quite apt considering how many announcements there were with HP. HP have announced a Docker integrated native volume plugin for 3PAR and nat natively Docker aware servers. More interestingly, expect to see more HP equipment in Paramount Films. But other than that, it's a quiet week. Okay, so Docker had their conference in Las Vegas, Discover, that was attended by one of our analysts, Edward Halecki. You might have seen his post on the virtualization practice. If not, go and have a read. Majority of it was pretty low key. There wasn't very many blazing headline application releases or headline equipment releases, so to say to least. One point is they have released an upgrade to the Helion. They have also released Docker integrated servers, which sounds quite interesting. Docker ready. And also a integrated plugin for three par so you can actually have native Docker containers running on your three par environment. No problem whatsoever. That was really it. As I say it was quite low key, which is a shame because Usually Discover does have some pretty interesting bits and pieces. I suppose one of the biggest announcements was Meg Whitman announcing that she was once again lowering the size of her company from a hundred million hundred billion dollar company through to a fifty four billion dollar company and now taking it down to a thirty billion dollar company by splitting off their technical services division. I can understand why they've done this. It's not exactly set set the world on fire since their EDS purchase. So throwing away good money after bad, get rid of it, give it to somebody else. But the best part about it is they're keeping 50% of it for themselves as well and spinning it out as a new company as a venture with CSC. Now I think CSC are probably joining completely and will become the whole of this company in terms of their own particular um, functions but HP are keeping hold of 50% of that that means if it's successful Meg Whitman gets 50% of all the revenues 50% of the profits and oh big money if it's not successful she's loaded as a genius because she's offloaded something before it disappeared down the pan so pretty good business from her I think HP have managed to plug themselves a deal with Paramount Films. The first one you will see is in the new Star Wars, sorry, the new Star Trek film, whereby they've managed to do an Oracle deal. If you remember the old, the Iron Man movie, it was full of Oracle environments, and even Larry Ellison turned up to do a small cameo in, in one of the films. Well, HP have done the same with Paramount Films, so when you're looking around, you're seeing these computers, expect to see ProLiant servers in data centers and desktops, devices, etc., etc. And I said, other than that, it was a quiet week. So, news from our sponsors. Veeam have announced a partnership with LabTech to extend the Veeam functionality into LabTech's ConnectWise products in Australia and New Zealand. And they've also announced the availability of a Veeam availability solution for HPE, so integration into 3PAR. So that increases the number of storage vendors that they can directly connect. That was announced at HP Discover, by the way. Cerber have released version 9 of their automating workloads placements products. This enables better placements of workloads across AWS, Azure, IBM SoftLayer. So Manage Engine have added an SSL certificate management into their privilege manage suite to make it easier to manage your certificates, pesky beasts that they are. And Puppet Labs, they're gearing up for Puppet Conf in 2016, the conference in San Diego. It's on the 
19th to the 21st of October. I think early bird discounts are still available at the minute. So it's about $350 off the actual cost of entry. So details can be found on their website or in the event calendars on TVP. Now Swift's SPAC, let's start again. Swift Stack, our newest sponsor, the They've won a major deal with Bet365, one of the world's leading online gambling companies, to provide object storage via their product based on Swift. And further, they've been included in Red Herring's list of top 100 private companies in North America. So well done them. Okay, all that remains to do is to thank you for listening and to remind you that if you see something that you think is newsworthy, please forward it to news at virtualizationpractice.com. Thank you very much and goodbye.